try to offer a lot of options for people who have a healthy lifestyle that they're trying to live and not even just a healthy lifestyle but also a lot of people have high blood pressure or they have um, not necessarily because of food but they have high cholesterol they might not they might be on low sodium diets and low fat diets and so we try to offer options and I'm not saying our restaurant is completely healthy we have all of the good simple stuff too as you're gonna see in a little bit but we do offer a lot of the healthy choices so that you can go out to dinner if you're on vacation or if you're one of our locals you can still come out and enjoy a, a, an experience in a restaurant and you don't have to just sit home because you can make healthy food but you can come out and have it served to you we have a butternut squash soup. It's actually vegan. It's made with almond milk, Vermont maple syrup, um, and some spices. We have a hallelujah salad. It has ground flaxseed, it has raisins, it has sunflower seeds, uh, broccoli, carrots, cucumbers. The people who are on a particular diet where they eat 85% raw and 15% cooked a day, they can have that as their main meal. An alternative to a BLT here in the form of a, an avocado, a fake and bacon, lettuce and tomato, and we also have a regular BLT with the good old, my favorite bacon, which I'm not allowed to have now because I have high cholesterol. We have plantain bites as an appetizer with black bean corn salsa. And of course, we try to keep our fruit plate year round. Uh, for those who, you know, you're supposed to eat five fruits a day. Well, there you go. Have a fruit platter and you get your whole, whole five fruits in there. This is called our Jersey Jim Omelet. And you can also get as an alternative to the regular sausage that we carry, which is skinless and it is excellent, I might add. Uh, this is a, a vegetarian meatless sausage. Our burgers are absolutely phenomenal. But for someone who's looking for a healthier choice, we offer our homemade veggie burger. Our veggie burgers have millet in them and sunflower se ground sunflower seeds and lots of ground veggies, and we make them from scratch. We have lots of different quesadillas. We have chicken, and we have seafood quesadillas. For someone who wants to do away with a lot of the fat in their diet is our veggie quesadilla. We offer turkey reuben. And we also, as an alternative to the turkey Reuben, offer a tempeh Reuben. And that's the same thing with the rye bread, and you can get it with Swiss cheese, or we have rice cheese available. We decided a couple years ago that we were throwing away so much bread. We give one piece of toast, and you're allowed to have all the toast you want, but we don't tempt you with eating more than what you want. And the same with our bread at dinner. We don't put rolls on the table, and we don't do that because we are cheap and we're you know, greedy. You can have all the rolls you want, but people who are trying to really watch themselves, it's tempting. I know if I go out to eat, I'm going to eat all that bread first, and then I ruin a really good dinner, and I do it all the time. We fresh, do fresh pressed carrot juice every day, and we also offer organic options of juice. We have a blueberry acai, we have an orange mango organic juice. 10% of our Costa Rican fair trade organic coffee goes to help children in San Marcos in the Dominican Republic. My husband and my son volunteer there. No meal is complete without dessert. So we have several options for dessert. And our healthy option is what I call a banana custard. And it's pure banana. We put it through a juicer and it's not, not juiced. It comes out, it's frozen banana and it's that's all that's in it. We also have a vegan apple cake which we don't usually tell people it's vegan because a lot of people who aren't vegetarians or vegans they think oh no it can't be good but it's so so good. When we would go away we would come back feeling guilty and with added pounds and everything else because there was not a healthy place anywhere for us to eat and so we wanted to provide that for Cape May is a tourist area and we have lots of locals that like to eat here as well um, and lots of people come who are, who are on gluten-free diets, um, who have restricted diets in some way and we've really wanted to allow everybody to come and enjoy Bella Vida.